Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, a diplomatic row has been simmering between Washington and Kingston over Jamaica's refusal to accredit the spouse of an American diplomat. Now the dispute is threatening to sour diplomatic relations between the traditional allies. Milton Walker has more in this report. Earlier this year, the United States government wrote to the Jamaican government seeking its approval for the married partner for diplomat about to be posted to Jamaica and who is in a same-sex relationship to be given diplomatic immunity and all the privileges of a diplomat. It's believed the Jamaican government did not respond to the request in a timely manner. The US sent another diplomatic note demanding a response. The Jamaican government responded, rejecting the request. A senior government source told TVJ News, quote, that an approval of the request would mean Jamaica recognizing same-sex marriage, which is illegal in this country, end quote. Our sources tell us the U.S. then responded, rejecting a request from the Holness administration to extend the stay of three Jamaican diplomats in our embassy and consulates in the United States. The U.S. served notice that the trio must leave immediately after their five-year diplomatic visa expires. This is in contrast to what now obtains, where extensions to diplomatic visas for Jamaican diplomats beyond the five-year period would be routine. Among those affected are Jamaica's ambassador to the United States, Audrey Marks, and Consul General Oliver Mayer, based in Miami, who the Americans say must leave and return to Jamaica this year. It's not known what other diplomatic measures, if any, the U.S. government might take against Jamaica in light of the government's refusal to grant immunity to the spouse of one of its diplomats. Milton Walker, TVJ News.